what are you doing like really come on like don't go don't go don't jeez people do not care what's going on everyone it's moto miracle in today's video i'm gonna go to legacy holly davidson to finally fix the fuel pump regulator so anyways let's quit the intro and let's go check out this video It's a sport glide. Sports glide? Yeah. I wanna hear it. Alright, I got you. <laughs> Mine's a lot louder. What? Mine's a lot louder. I got mine out and it's loud. Yeah. I want them to hear me coming. What's good y'all? If you're new to my channel, I'm just traumatic brain injury survivor with a second chance at life. And I'm gonna share my journey to you through my eyes. This is non-stop traffic over here. No matter what time of the day it is in Midland, there's always traffic. Midnight, 2 o'clock in the morning, 4 p.m., doesn't matter. There's always freaking traffic. So anyways, what that guy wanted to say was, uh, um, what that guy was saying was, uh, he wanted me to rev the engine so he can hear uh, how loud it is. And I was like, he wanted to hear the difference between the 107 and the 114 because he told me he had a two, um, 2018, 2019 uh, um, two, uh, soft tail um, breakout. So... He was just kind of like, oh, let me hear it. And then when I revved it, I was like, all right. But like I said, when you rev it in that, like, sitting there, it's really not that loud. Like, even if I rev my engine, like, the one with the Bassani exhaust, you know, with the 107, it doesn't sound like, it sounds mean, but it's like, it's not that mean, you know what I'm saying? But when I'm, like, actually on the bike and I'm gonna, I'm actually on it, you know, full, full, you know, full throttle, you know, like, like the other day, um, I was riding in the, uh, I was riding down in the desert, it, uh, where between Midland and Odessa, right in the middle, and it was at night, and there was a straightaway, so me and my buddy Sam just, you know, full throttled that thing, and literally, he has 114, so he took off first, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, you're really gonna take off like that, so I just let drop the gear and took off, and he told me all he hear, and this is usually, the Bassani, it's louder from behind, not in front of you, he said all of a sudden, he just heard a scream, full speed, just wow! And he was like, oh crap. So he, he was kind of afraid that I was going to run right into him because he heard that exhaust and he was like, man, that was loud. When you're on the bike and you're, you know, higher RPMs, you know, 4,000 and up, that Bassani just screams like, um, it roars so loud. It's like, Wah! but when you're just idling it and you're just, you know, revving the engine, it's just a nice growl, you know? So yeah, basically he, this guy had, um, he had a sport, he had a uh, low rider ass and he got a uh, T-bone by some guy some lady over here and he almost died he said so now he has a breakout but he's like man he has a lot a loud horn and everything he just he can't like you can't trust anyone down here literally it doesn't matter every single day i'm on the bike while i'm in midland like west texas area i am a, i literally have to lane split and smack mirrors because no one sees me even though i got my exhaust even though i got my you know road rider industries or anything and like the day maker it doesn't matter you know so anyways they're on the way to legacy right now drop off the bike um hopefully it'll get done fixed uh, hopefully it'll get fixed really quick because like i told y'all in the last video it's just for the fuel pump regulator they gotta flip it rotate it 180 degrees so so like i said hopefully it's just that um yeah well i know that's just that so once they get that once they get the bike done once i drop it off get the bike done and i get the bike back um i'll explain to y'all like they'll tell me what exactly did what he did and stuff like that and uh and we'll see if i'm not if i'm not leaking uh we'll see if i'm not leaking uh gas anymore you know that's a test right there because i don't want to leak gas anymore you know so i'll see y'all once you get to legacy <laughs> Hope that transition worked out. All right, y'all. I'm at Legacy. It's Friday. You know, dropped the bike off on Tuesday, um, and it's this is okay. So basically, um, yeah, I've been having problems since then. You know. So if you haven't seen my uh, video, last video put put up here, I'm um, explain. You know, when I went here last week, so 11 days ago, when I first came with the leak, uh, the gas leak problem. You can watch that one, and it'll explain what like the situation, the BS I had to deal with. But like I said, I dropped it off Tuesday. It's uh, now it's um. Oh, I love this Passani exhaust. Oh man, even with this, not even with stage one, just with the 107, it's still so gorgeous. Basically, I, it's been uh, it's it was horrible. Like I said, like I knew it was a fuel. So basically, it was a fuel pump regulator that the problem was, you know. And what and what aggravates me is like 
Um, so basically I dropped the bike off Tuesday and like I'm upset about this whole situation. Um, so Tuesday I dropped it off and then Tuesday afternoon they called me and they said, so basically um, it's either, it's not leaked, the gas isn't leaking anymore. It's not leaking gas anymore. I was like, how? It's been leaking all weekend. I was like, just cause it's not leaking once, it's still leaking, you know? So basically for the warranty, you can either do the fuel pump regulator or do the fuel pump seal. And I was like, why can't you just do both? And like, well, you can't do you can't do both because of reg because of the warranty. I was like, that's BS. I was like, because he said, because basically what they said is, if you do the fuel pump regulator and it's still and it actually is the seal that caused it to leak, then um, the warranty is not going to cover that. I'm like, well, why don't you just fix both at the same time? They're like, no, we can't do that. So basically, they were just giving me the runaround, which freaking aggravated me. And like I said, the techs they're very good and they do great job, but it's the management in this dealership that freaking is horrible. You know what I'm saying? Like I, we only had a problem with the dealers, with the management. So what happened though is like, so then I was like, okay, whatever. I was like, so can uh, they said, but we have to talk to the warranty administrator from the dealership. I said, okay, so they could talk to the company, the warranty company. Well, he wasn't there, so I had to go wait till Wednesday morning or whatever. So I called Wednesday, and then they said, yeah. They said, okay, well we, they said, um, so they said, well we sent, yeah, we just sent the paperwork to the dealer to the warranty place. I said, all right, that's great. They called the warranty place, and basically they said the only way to so it wouldn't void the warranty is I have to replace completely replace and then rotate the fuel pump regulator and the seal which I wanted to do to begin with you know what I'm saying like what are you doing like really come on like don't go don't go don't jeez people do not care um so so well, the thing that aggravated me is like I wanted to fix the fuel pump regulator and the fuel pump seal because like I said if it's one or the other why can't you just fix why can't you just fix both of them you know what I'm saying like why do I have to hope that it's one and not the other like you're at we're at a situation where why don't we just do both you know like you like you already screwed up with the diagnostics part so what what the hell oh, I love this exhaust and this Man, I don't care what everyone says. Like everyone's like, you gotta get the bagger, cause like I, I do love the road glide, but the thing is, this uh, this street glide is just for 107. Man, it just goes all day. So much power. But um, yeah. So sorry, <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought because I just love this. I just love this sport bike. Like, man, I, I mean, if you want the money for a for like a touring back bike, this is the one to get the um the sport glide but um yeah so basically I, I was just aggravated i was like how do you want i was like well that's what i wanted to begin with so i was like obviously i don't want to avoid the warranty so replace it and replace the seal in the regulator that's the whole situation so that was aggravating i so i called him several times through the day and it's like okay well is a as a uh what's called is the uh is the paperwork done and like no the paperwork's not done the bike's done and ready the bike's ready to wash and ready to go So basically, I was like, oh, the bike's ready, but we are waiting for the paperwork. I said, okay. So then finally, I was at 12 o'clock, then I tried at 12, and then tried at 1, and then I dropped Miss Miracle off at 1, because I, I, I've been taking the car, because I have things to do myself, you know? Um, so so I, I've been using Miss Miracle's car, and so I went to the dealership at 2 after I dropped Miss Miracle off, came back to the dealership, and they're like, so yeah, we still don't, um, the reason, uh, I saw, so they said, okay, well, we don't have the paperwork done. I said, okay, fine. They got back home and then at four o'clock they called me at four and they said at four o'clock they said oh you can come back and uh you can sign the paperwork so i got there went back at four drove all the way there for the dealership signed the paperwork literally for them just to call literally to say like okay now we have to send it to the dealership to the um the company the warranty company i said yeah that's fine that's whatever i don't care i'll wait if i have to wait you know but they said okay it should be done by the end of the day because they said all, all they're doing is getting the money from the dealership from the um from the company and that aggravated me so then but then uh, so basically i called at five and then i called at six and they go nope uh, they said we, st we still do not have the money i said okay whatever i'll wait till thursday i'm not going to complain so then it comes thursday morning so i called in the morning i called at i called once every hour literally and then finally then they, they kept saying like well we can't release your bike because until we get the money and i was like no that's bs like the warranty is going to do it because technically Sorry, my voice. But um, like I said, my friend Sam and his old lady Adrian, like they um, like they both deal with the uh, with their, where they work. They both deal with you know warranty stuff. And so basically, it says like as long as there's a uh, uh, agreement uh, agreement of payment, you know, to the dealership, then technically, because sometimes it takes up to 
takes up to what's called up to two to five weeks to get the paperwork to, to get the money you know but the dealership here they're so freaking cheap because they're not making any money here it's such a crappy dealership you know because of man management or whatever um since that happened like they just they're like no like you can't get the bike until we get the money so i said this that's bull I don't even care what you say. Like, I want my bike and that's it. It's done. Uh, the claim is already there for the warranty. So even if it takes five weeks for them to get the money, the thing is, it's still in the warranty. It's still it's still in the cl claims on. So I was like, I'm getting pissed. I called I called every hour all the way till six o'clock and they kept saying, well, we still don't have the money. We still don't have the money. I was flipping out. I was upset, man. I was not a happy camper. I was not. I mean, I was like, come on, like the bike is there, it, there's a claim on it already, do you know what I'm saying? So the claim means you're getting the money, but it, it, since if they do a check, you take up the five weeks for the check, you know? But then they, they so yeah, I said, screw it, I said, Mon I said this, so this is all day Thursday. So all day Thursday, I've been calling and calling and said, well, you're not, you can't get the bike to get the money, you can't get it to get the money. I'm like, that's BS, I was like, that's literally illegal to do that, I don't care what you say, you know? So what I did though was, so basically I was like, whatever, I, so, okay, obviously it's like 6 o'clock already on Thursday. There's nothing I can do about it at this point because the dealership's closed. So I'm freaking flipping out. So I was like, yeah, I've had not, not had this bike for 11 days. And it was just for a fuel pump regulator and fuel pump seal to fix. Like, are you freaking kidding me? So basically in that whole situation though is... I, I, so I was upset. So basically, uh, you know, Sam, Adrian, and you know, even my dad said the same thing. They said, call the warranty company and tell them to send an email saying that they have a, like I said, the, um, uh, uh, what's called, a, a guarantee of payment. I said, all right, that sounds like a good idea. Called them in the morning. I called the dealer, I called the warranty company in the morning. Right away they called, and because I have pro pro protective, uh, I think it's like protective, like um, extreme rider or something like that. And uh, basically they called and what they said was, they said, uh, they said, yeah, we actually sent it, to, we faxed it to the, to Jay or whatever his name was, to the management, um, management um, associate at the Legacy dealership and we sent it at 12.36 p.m. yesterday, so Thursday. So they had the freaking money from the beginning, but the thing is, they never checked the fax machine. They're waiting for email. And then, so basically my, so basically my, um, my company, my, what's called the, uh, the company, the warranty company, they called Legacy and they talked to them and they said they were on the phone for 15 minutes just, you know, getting the run around and run around like they've been doing with me. All they're doing the run around because all they want to do is get money out of this whole situation. I was upset in that situation, but then, so basically the guy, so then they called, so basically the warranty guy called me back and said, listen, I'm sorry about the whole, I was like, no, it's not your fault, it's the Legacy's fault. It's a management, like, you know what I'm saying? And basically what they said is, literally what exactly what they told them is the the fax machine is in another building so since it's another building they never saw it legacy y'all saw my videos with at legacy y'all see my instagrams legacy is small as like there's no expect the the fax machine is right here you know what I'm saying it's right there there's no there was no excuse for them to do that at all even they're getting the warranty company a, a run around like just because y'all aren't making money because of whatever i don't even know why you know you go to lubbock you go to you go to big spring there's a lot of bikes a lot of events there's a lot going on you come here oh that's gorgeous wow but like you go you go here and there's no events there's no bikes there's nothing you know like i said the tech guys like the service department they're very good like they they do they do great they do a great job but the management is so shitty like literally like honestly what sucks is like just because of just because of this situation from now on i honestly might drive east an hour to big spring to get my bike fixed if something ever happened instead of going here even the warranty company guy he even told me that next time something he said hopefully nothing happens to the bike anymore but if something happens again he goes i would go to a different dealership you know when i was in connecticut it made sense because you know if, if they didn't work at you know the connecticut harford one there's one in ellington there's one in um east Har there's there's literally like like a crap load of dealerships in uh in Connecticut, you know what I'm saying? So basically it's a 20 minute drive to the next dealership. Here, the closest one was an hour. I was like, I'll drive an hour, I don't care. I'll go to Lubbock for two hours, I don't care. You know, it's just the fact that it was a fuel pump regulator. So I just had no clue if it was leaking or not. If it's leaking, I don't want to go anywhere, you know? Like, that doesn't make sense. I, like, I, like I said, I knew what the fuel pump regulator was doing, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, what if something happened? What if I ran out of gas? I don't, I don't know. There's no gas station. It's in the middle of nowhere here. You're like, look, this, this is where we are. 
nothing, you know? So that's been the problem. So basically after that happened, they so basically the, the um the, the my so the company um the warranty company ended up calling me back and saying, yep, okay, the money is sent to the fax and they said they did get it so that you can go get the bike. Right after that, the dealership called from the service department and said, you can go pick up the bike, you got your money. And I didn't flip out in front of them, because like I said, the service department, they've done a great job. Yeah, they're taking their sweet ass time doing it, but it's not their fault. It's, a, it's the management that's doing it, because they're not the ones that are like, okay, we have to get the money. It's the management, management the department that deals with the money, like, you know, the warranty, the warranty administrator, the even for the service, um, even the service manager, you know what I'm saying? Like they have to deal with it, not the actual text, you know? So that freaking aggravated me. And like I said, I've been so courteous, so nice, so everything about it, you know what I'm saying? Like show them how great they are. Even though, like I said, they're such a small dealership, they don't have anything there, but I still promote it. Like look how great this chain, this, um, this place is, you know? But from now on, nah, like this is, I'm, I'm just being straight up and being honest. Like I'm being a YouTuber, a motor vlogger. I'm going to tell you my truth, the truth about that. And I am not, literally, honestly, don't go to this dealership. Honestly, you want to do moto clothes? Yeah, go to that dealership. You know, you want to get some free donuts and hang out with people? Yeah, go to the dealership. But if you want to get your bike done, you want to buy a bike, you want to get parts, don't go here. Like, I'm sorry, Legacy, like, that just grinded my gears, honestly. Because like I said, I did, I, like, I'm, I just put so positive notes to you, to y'all, to this, your, you guys, you know what I'm saying? I even told him like if you want I'll put I'll put stuff out like not, I kind of like uh, do a little uh, sponsorship with them so now no money just more so they get more promotions towards them so more they can get more bikes and stuff but you know what no like I was trying to be so nice no matter all the BS I had to deal with the past like I said the whole year like I said I just kind of saw and like even my buddy Sam with his street glide special the um, um, the snake venom they screwed him over here there too so we went to Lubbock to go get the bike it's literally just about customer service like you got to be nice with that like what the hell you know but the management is so crappy like I it, it's 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 a ghost town in there now that dealership but like I said it sucks because I was I mean like I said I like enjoying talking to people there but I think from now on we're going to Big Springs so sorry y'all like sorry legacy like that that was the one thing that twisted around like I said I probably will stop by and um hang out have coffee hang out with the guys that are there you know because i said the the people that are working there didn't it's not their fault they did that happen it's the management that screwed it up they just do the job that they're told to do you know so yeah and there's people there that have like you know they've ridden for years of experience and stuff like that so it's like kind of hang out and talk about people you know people that live like two hours away they come here just for free donuts <laughs> but yeah so that's the situation so i had the fuel pump regulator and the fuel pump seal that both fixed it was about $285, but with the warranty I have, it's only $25 for the deductible. So that's all done now. All right. So now, from now on, it's going to be a very calm channel. Like, th that was my only rant. That was grinding my gears and stuff like that. But, yeah. So, so yeah. So that's what happened with the fuel pump regulator, the leak. So hopefully, like I said, we're not, hopefully we're not leaking gas because if we are, I'm going to flip my Honestly, I'm gonna go to um, Big Spring, but I'm not. I'm not like I'm just gonna complain about this company first. But hopefully, the, they fix, they replace the fuel pump regulator, the fuel pump seal. So hopefully, this won't have the problem anymore. All right. <laughs> oh man, whoo! That was a long video. That was a long venting. But yeah. So if you need any other questions, if your bike's been leaking gas, yeah, just comment down below, and I'll let you know. I'll let you know what's going on. So anyways, this is the end of the video. So if you like this video, then please press that like button. If you want to show some love for this channel, then please press that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And please press that bell icon for future notifications. Until next time, y'all. Ride safe. Spread those positive vibes. Never give up. It's Moto Miracle. And I'm out of here.